Hey everyone, Firex here. In this video I'm gonna show you how the in-game positioning works, how to use the commands set pause and get pause properly and how the whole system behind these two commands works. The island, be it Stratis or Altis, takes up some space in all three dimensions and every object in the game added by the mission occupies a certain point in this space. You can also pick a spot that isn't occupied because every point of the island is located somewhere, it has certain coordinates that help the game to know where everyone is. Ok this is really difficult to explain just like that, so I'm gonna use some examples. Let's pick a random spot on the map and create the player here. You can already see over here in the corner these numbers, the coordinates of your cursor that is currently where the player is. If you are familiar with 2D and 3D planes, this will be much easier for you. Two dimensions are simple. You have two axes, the X axis that is always indicating values from left to right and the Y axis for values from the top to the bottom. This rule is exactly the same in Arma series. In the editor window you have the X axis and the Y axis. Notice that the island is situated only in the first quarter of the plane with positive numbers. Now simply add the third dimension, the Z axis, the height above the surface. Right so now we should be able to understand how the coordinates work and I hope I took the time to make and show you all the examples needed in the video while explaining this. Ok so now we can move to the command set pos and more importantly the get pos command. To properly describe these commands I'll have to tap into variables and their use but don't worry it will actually greatly help you with script creating. Ok so the command set pause is pretty straightforward. Unit set pause and the location. The position is in the form of an array of three elements. The x axis, the y axis, the z axis. If I want to place a tank above player's head, I can just remember these numbers in the corner and now create a tank and into its initialization box I write this referring to the tank itself set pause, brackets, the first number, comma, the second number, comma, 100. Now I have created a tank that is exactly on the same position as the player, but it is 100 meters above the ground, while the player is on the ground. This is, however, a pretty bad method for placing objects. You can know the exact number every time. So we will now use the get pause command, by the way you can also use the position command, that is exactly the same. The get pause command returns an array containing objects coordinates. You get the exact position of the given object and from now on you can use this information to move another object on this location. The work with variables on a basic level is really easy. Let's say you are writing a script now you want to add a new variable a. a equals for example 1. From now on you can use either the exact number 1 or the variable a because the game knows that a equals 1. So in the command set damage you can kill a unit by either writing unit set damage 1 or by writing unit set damage a. The game will read it as unit set damage 1. Use the same logic with positions. A equals get post player. From now on the variable A contains an array with player's exact location. So now you can use this with the command set post to move something else on player's position. Tank set post A. In some cases you don't even need the variable because as you can see it's all the same thing. You can use tank set pause get pause player. Now you can also work with each number of the array. You can use these in any way you want. Let's say you want to use the player's position but move the other object above the player. The command will look like this. Object set pause brackets get post player select 0, comma, get post player select 1, comma, 10 and close brackets. 
What I do here is, I take the first element of the array, so the x-axis, then the second element, and I replace the third element with an exact number. So the game will now move the object to player's x-axis coordinate, y-axis coordinate, 5 meters above the surface. Alright, I think that's all I can explain to you at the moment, I had to make a simple example mission to be able to show you all that. The mission contains some stationary and moving boxes, so you can see the changes in coordinates of each object. You can download it if you wish, I will leave a link in the description, it's not a big deal, I plan to expand it with future theory videos. I hope you understood at least something, this video was so difficult to create but anyway, comment, like and share and have a great day!